very good morning students so today we are starting with nutrition in paramecium so paramecium it feeds in the holozoic manner very similarly to amoeba and the food of paramecium it can have bacteria and in a study it has been seen that it can take 2 to 5 million bacteria in 24 hours so that means paramecium is a very voracious feeder it also feeds on small protozoans unicellular plants like diatoms yeasts algae and uh, small bits of animals and vegetables so it can eat anything but what is the most important thing is the size of the food particles it can take different sizes of the food particle but it can filter out the smaller ones that's why paramecium is also called as a filter feeder as we are studying paramecium caudatum there is one species which is paramecium bursaria and that has a uh, alga called as zooclorella as a symbiont in its endoplasm so in the starvation conditions it can digest its own zooclorella so that was the situation in paramecium bursaria now something about the feeding mechanism the paramecia they swim here and there in the search of food and once the food has been found the food is ingested by a definite cell mouth or it is called as cytostome the mechanism of ingestion is very important and the paramecium takes in food due to the ciliary movements of the oral groove the oral groove has a number of cilia around its rim so when these cilia they move they produce a water current and along this water current food particles they are taken inside the oral groove the path on which the food enters the oral groove is called as aception path the cilia present inside the oral groove takes the food into the next part which is the buccal cavity now the food enters into the buccal cavity and the oral groove has ciliated bands and these ciliated bands they perform ciliary action with this the food is further taken inside into the oral groove and finally it reaches the cytostome it is also called as the mouth of paramecium in this course of the food entry from the oral groove up to the mouth the larger food particles they are filtered out and they are rejected so that path is called as the rejection path so on this path the larger food particles they are given out of the oral groove finally the selected food it reaches the cytostome and finally it is given in a food vacuole which pinches off from the cytostome and now it is free in the cytoplasm now in this diagram you can see a pinched off food vacuole which is having the selected food which is selected by this particular paramecium now this food vacuole it revolves in the cytoplasm with the help of the cyclosis so as we have discussed in the amoeba cyclosis is the movement of the cytoplasm so this food vacuole it also moves inside the body of the paramecium with the help of the movement of the cytoplasm during this whole movement of the food vacuole lysosomes attached to these food vacuoles 
as we have earlier discussed that lysosomes they contain the enzymes so these enzymes are poured onto the food inside the food vacuole and they digest the food now the digested food is taken out of the food vacuole during this course of circulation and digested food is now a part of the cytoplasm now this digested food is used by the paramecium for its growth so this is called as assimilation so after digestion assimilation occurs and after the assimilation what is left in the food vacuole it is only the waste products now this body is again called as the residual body as it was called in the amoeba now this residual body it will go to the cytopyge it reaches the cytopyge as we all know that cytopyge is the anus of the paramecium so here the residual body attaches itself at the site of cytopyge the pellicle is very thin and pellicle and the plasma membrane it breaks off from the site of cytopyge and the waste products of the residual body they are thrown out of the body of the paramecium so this is the process of ejection so students that was all about the mechanism of ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection in this part we will be discussing the respiration process in paramecium very similarly to amoeba the paramecium also takes up the oxygen simply by diffusion through its membrane now here the membrane is the pellicle so pellicle is permeable to oxygen and carbon dioxide water always has more oxygen as compared to the inside of the paramecium so the oxygen it comes inside the paramecium simply by diffusion through the pellicle and this oxygen is used by the paramecium and is converted into carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide is at higher concentration inside the paramecium than the water outside so the carbon dioxide it goes out of the paramecium simply by diffusion through pellicle so the mechanism of respiration is very similar to amoeba in this section of the video we'll be talking about the excretory process in paramecium it is very similar to amoeba the proteins they give rise to nitrogenous waste products in the process of digestion so this nitrogenous waste product is in the form of ammonia and as we have discussed in amoeba this ammonia is given out of the paramecium through the pellicle in the form of ammonium ions so ammonia it reacts with the water to form ammonium ions and these ammonium ions are given out in the water directly through the pellicle 